Each day, these workers can produce around 7,500 pairs of shoes at the Huajian International Show City in Ethiopia. All these women's shows are exported to U.S. and European markets under brand names including Guess, Mark Fisher and Nye West. Masarit Jerma has been working in the stitching department for over two and a half years. She is satisfied with her work. Day by day I have changed something and I change from my position, even my salary, everything is changed day by day. So I still I feel happy. That's why I still work in Huajin. Even to front I, I like to work in Huajin company. Huajian is one of the biggest manufacturers of women's show in China. It employs 4,000 workers in Ethiopia. But new workers without experience of manufacturing work need training. From ordinary staff to higher management, Huajian offers each person here a chance to be trained and promoted. This is the rule that Damis Dagov understood very well. In 2013, due to his hard work, Damis got a chance to be trained for a year at Huajian's headquarters in Dongguan in the south of China. Back to Ethiopia, he's now a factory supervisor, managing hundreds of local staff. I have learned Chinese management and Huajian's corporate culture during the training. Among them, the concept of time is very important. For example, if someone asked me to come at half past two, I might be late and come at 2.35. But after training in China, I changed my concept of time. If anyone tells me to come at one o'clock, I will 100% make it. In 2014, Huajian International Show City exported goods worth 18 million US dollars. The president of Huajian Group, Zhang Huarong said his company was not in Ethiopia just to reduce the labor costs by 10% to 12%. He said the company hopes to build a whole supply chain in Ethiopia and being a key contributor to the country's economy. One of our biggest contributions is that we employ over 4,000 local people who have stable jobs and salaries. We also provide free breakfast, lunch, supper and communications for all of them. This is not only a matter of corporate benefit. What's more important is to change the idea in the world that manufacturing in Africa is no good. As long as you have a good culture, good training and attitude to share with the people, you can build a good company in Africa. Huajian was one of the first investors in the Eastern Industry Zone. Its performance has helped attract a growing number of other investors to the zone, which was built in 2009 and is now the home to about 36 manufacturing enterprises, including most Chinese manufacturers and some other foreign investors. All the companies in the Eastern Industry Zone enjoy preferential policies, including two years of free tax and a stable power supply. As a destination port of Ethiopia, all the goods shipped from any Chinese port can be delivered to these companies directly for checking. We also provide a one-stop service for customs clearance. Ethiopia is now focusing on industrialization by boosting manufacturing. The federal government has a vision to make Ethiopia a middle-income country by 2025. In our planning, we give a substantial uh, focus mm -hmm. to attract uh, foreign direct investment across the world and especially from China, both in uh, laser and laser product and textile, apart and agro processing and uh, pr uh, metal, metallurgy and engineering industries. The minister says Ethiopia is the second most populous country in Africa after Nigeria which means the cheap labor force is a major advantage for manufacturing sectors. As China's first show maker investing in Africa, the Huajian Group plans to make Ethiopia a global hub for the show industry within the next decade. The Ethiopian government hopes to enlarge its production capacity cooperation with China by attracting more Chinese manufacturers whose technical and financial support as well as experience will enhance their manufacturing sector 
and help the country take off economically. Wulei, CCTV, Ethiopia.